All right, fellas, let's talk setbacks, whether you got injured, you got sick. It's something that I am experiencing now. I can't tell you how personally frustrating it is to make so much progress. And then out of extenuating circumstances that lie outside of anything that had to do with me, you get sick sometimes, y'all. That's outside of your control. You can get pneumonia, you can get cancer, uh, the sick. I'm not gonna say it on YouTube because I think they demonetize you if you do that. You, anything could happen to you at any time and your health could be impacted by that. You could have a bad night's sleep and then tweak something in the gym or tear something and then just set, set back your training to the point where you just feel like all your progress went down the drain. I am significantly weaker at almost everything. Um, I'm just doing what I can. And that's kind of the name of the game, y'all. Having a can-do attitude with shit like this. Where that came into play for me, I would say, if I track back to my childhood, growing up, not necessarily having things that other children had, access to programs, resources that other people had, you had to make do with what you had. And it wasn't a question or a conversation of like, shit, let's look at what I don't have. It's like, okay, what can I do? Or what can I make out of this situation? That's something that despite my many flaws, my many mistakes, my many shortcomings growing up and continuing to become a better man, because that growth never stops y'all. You always you're always on a path to become a better version of yourself. That mental toughness has at the very least allowed me to stay centered in the fact that shit is gonna be all right. You always have the opportunity to grow, to reclaim what you once had. As long as you draw breath, you're gonna be able to reach the pinnacle that you reached before and then beyond that. Now for me, what I did in my training today, I could talk a little bit about that. It was my primary benching session. So it's supposed to open up with uh, sub-maximal bench pressing, going into back work and then blah, 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 all the accessories. There's a gift and a curse with everything. So here's how it worked out today. I knew just based on the warm ups, I'm like, man, this bench top set is gonna be sorry. So I'm gonna do something that my boy Sam talked about the other day, maybe a few weeks ago with dips. I had mentioned to him like, dude, dips look chatty and everything, but like, I don't feel them. I, I, you know, they feel heavy, I guess, but they don't do anything to my muscles. And then he's like, dude, like, I just did my pressing workout and I just pre-exhausted my chest muscles before my, I did my dips and they felt incredible on my pecs. So I'm like, okay, I kept that in the back of my head and my data banks for a rainy day. I kept that tool in the toolbox, right? So I'd have that terrible top set. I'm like, dude, this is sorry. Can do attitude. I did an AMRAP, just did a burnout set, pre-exhausted my pecs, moved right into weighted dips. And the funny thing is, I actually chipped my best for reps set of uh, three plates on weighted dips. I got nine reps. In my head, I thought I got 11. This is why you record yourself when you train, y'all. I thought I got 11, I only got nine, but my best setup until that point was eight, and I did weighted dips a long time ago at 135. So not quite what it should have been in terms of reps. If I was at 100% strength, what I was like three weeks ago, I fully expect I would've got like 15 reps or something like that, a lot more than nine. You know, not, not, not a mental 11 and a reality nine, you know what I mean? But that set the stage and set the pace for my entire training after that, like, like my training session. I beat a PR, moved right into my back work. Back work, I beat the books on what I did last week. Moved right into my um, upright rows, beat the books on that. Tricep work, beat the books on that. Abs, beat the books on that. All these smaller exercises that don't, you know, add up to that top set that I was looking for on the bench press, and I fully expect that my next pressing workout will feel similarly weak because that's how I felt last week. It's like a 35 pound reduction in rep strength and probably more in one rep max strength because I'm just terrible at reps in general. I think 
when I uh, when I first did that that heavy Larson press that I, I posted like seven or eight months ago, I could only Larson press like three fifteen for like two or three reps. If you would have looked at that one rep max that I did, you would have never guessed that I could only do three fifteen for two or three reps. I've just always been traditionally better at singles. Everything else more than a single, I just get significantly worse at. That's just to say, look at what you can do. Make the best of a bad situation. Another piece of food for thought I can give you. My first um, lower body session. This was directly after I was allowed to leave my house. I went to go train because I had spent the entire week sitting on my ass, quite honestly. The first four days of being in the house, I'm sick as a dog with like 103, 104 fever, pounding headache. Y'all saw the meme on my community post of the, uh, the Star Trek dude with the big ass giga brain. That's how my head felt. So you just imagine the toll that took on my body. I lost 10 pounds. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna come in here. I know for a fact I'm not gonna be able to do a regular training session. I'm just gonna go through my favorite lifts that I'm most excited about doing and just hit something decent on there. Just take what I can for the day. Stiff leg deadlifts, I hit on paper a 10 pound PR, 515 stiff leg deadlift, but it was significantly harder than the 505 that I had did two weeks prior, where honestly, I, I felt like I could have did three reps with that shit. You know what I mean? And just to put 10 more pounds on it was like it took everything I had. Going in the front squats, my quads felt like not bad or painful, but just like they felt like jello. They were getting weirdly stimulated by very little weight. The bar just made my quads quake. You know what I mean? So I, I took what was there, 275, baby weight. I've done that for sets and reps, 275 on front squats with no belt. And everything else was similarly lower than what my baseline was. But I'm so inundated in the process of getting stronger. I don't have anything to prove to anybody but to myself. There are a few inspirations that, you know, I, out of respect for them, would like to reach the pinnacle that they've reached in terms of strength or something resembling it or do something for the world. And for you know people in in, in the weight room you know in, in lifting culture I, I would like to contribute something of equal value to them but you know i'm jacked I, i'm ripped you know what i mean like i have nothing to prove to anyone but myself what drives me is my personal curiosity to see what i can accomplish with the time that i have on this earth and that's just the mindset that i have with it y'all that's something that I think each and every one of you could take something away from. You don't have to look at it the exact way that I do. You don't have to be someone that is mostly process oriented, but to some extent, you wanna keep yourself anchored in that process. If you can train, if you can get up, you're able-bodied, good health, you can go to the gym, you're not, in, you know, like you're not living in squalor, you don't have all these extenuating circumstances that lead you to have a shitty life and you can just go to the gym because you want to, enjoy that. I enjoyed every second of training today. I didn't like the fact that I was uh, a lot weaker than usual, but shit, dude, I could have one arm, like guts. I could literally have one arm. I could have one eyeball like him. I could have legs that don't work. I could, shit, my back could be fucked up again. And none of that is the case and other than a little bit of annoying congestion that I still have, I feel 100%. My breathing is good. My work capacity is good. It's just, I gotta build back the strength. The, having the opportunity to be able to do that and then surpass that gives me something to work towards because now it's literally me versus me. You know what I mean? That's very exciting to me. Short and sweet, just wanted to give you a little food for thought. Uh, I, I gotta spend time with the Gaines Goblin. It's been uh, all day, and I don't want to keep her waiting too much longer. Y'all have a good one.